All right, folks. Chris the Carpenter here. Test number three. Here's what we got. <clears throat> Here's my encoder. A little sensor right there. Shoots a light through these holes. Counts these holes. I've uh, I've programmed it to uh, to assume eight holes is one unit of movement. All right. Here is my infrared sensor, working off of my uh, Sony. VCR remote. Still got my little EEPROM recording away. And what I have done is I have programmed it to remember what I'm doing. So here we go. Let's go two units of forward. Remember that. Now let's play it back. Okay. Let's do one unit of right. Remember, oop, you weren't supposed to do that yet. One unit of right. Remember it and go. Okay. Now let's try three units of right. And uh, let's do a couple more here. So basically. It's a big tracks. I can record movement. Two units of forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven units of left. Remember seven. Oh, you're not supposed to go yet. You're supposed to wait till I hit one. Hmm. I think my batteries are low. All right. So there's there's that. I've got that working. Now the problem I'm running into here. Oh, you should, you should, you should be me now. Um, the problem I'm running into is uh, I'm having some variable problems when I try to do multiple uh, inputs, like um, you know, record record the first command, how many units, which direction. Now remember, you know, the second step, how many units, which direction. Um, I'm finding that my variables are coming out wrong out of the EEPROM, and I think it's the fact that it's such a teeny tiny 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 little EEPROM and I think it's getting filled up or there's overflow or something other. There's shenanigans afoot. So I've ordered a new 256K and uh, hopefully that'll solve my problem. But for now, it is pretty cool that uh, it works. Ta-da! Test three.